this is where I'm up to now. I've got on Alpine mode. It's up to 208 and it's on setting two. I've actually, I've put fans here to cool the casing down, which is fantastic. It's working a treat. It's pumping out loads of heat. It's using next to no diesel. And the way that I've done it is the air intake. The unscrew here. What I do, when I first started off, I left this tape up, put it, you know, about here, so it has more than half, sucks it in. Once it's got up to temp, cover that bit up and put it back on, and then the temp rises that is a 1.6 mil pump not a 22 mil what they come with but the controller isn't one that are kind of going to the secret settings and you notice how it's dropped there that's because i took that off and it'll come it'll go back up again now but you can't actually go zinging hot just by covering up the air intake. But the air intake is sucking air from inside the shed, so I need to get it so that it's sucking out fresh air, so that'll change. But you can have them blasting out a fur whack of heat using a lot less diesel and I get my CO2 meter tomorrow if I check the um, carbon and out the exhaust so we see how it goes but I've got a couple of extra 5 volt fans there that I may put here to blow some of the air out and see how it goes because I'm thinking of buying a metal casing instead of the plastic one and extending the wires from the controller sensor and fan outside of the unit where they're all actually built in so I might be able to get it a bit a bit more out of it but it just depends on how what the sensor gets before it starts communicating with the ECU to start, you know, errors and shutting down. And I must, I've got to tell you this though, before you do shut it down after that, you have to take that air intake off because if you don't, then you get a, I think it's a EO9, which is overheat on that. So I'll let everything cool down, switch it off naturally. But I'm getting a nice toasty shed for next to no diesel. It's a bit of a faff, but I'm working on it.